Hi guys. Um, I just sewed this piece that I was talking about uh, last video with you guys. And I also did a few additions to this. I added some of the art stones down here at the bottom and across here. What else did I do? I put some crackle paste in here. And I guess that's it. Oh, I put some Tyvek in a few places here. So now the trick is, how am I going to finish this? What am I going to do with it? Um, good question. I haven't really thought about it, so you're going to see my, my process as I meander through this one. Um, we all know that I prefer the blues and the cool side of the color wheel. So I'm sure that's probably where I'm going to start out. However, just for grins, I think I'm going to take this section in here and use that flame orange because it's sitting on the table and why not? So, squirt it down. Let's see what happens here. I never know. Whoa, that's a lot. More than I had planned. Okay, let me get this. my brush here. That was wet, by the way. I had it sitting in water. But look how vibrant that is. That's uh, really kind of cool. And it's pulling some of the gesso off of there. And that may not be a bad thing. I may just embrace that and let that happen. I'm going to let that kind of run into some of the other parts. I just put the gesso on this morning, so it really hasn't set overnight or anything. Okay, well that's kind of cool. So I think I'll put some down here too. Maybe I'll go for the warm side of the color wheel today. Just for grins. Okay, this is probably also gonna pull off some of the gesso down here at the bottom. That's okay. Do I want it that heavy? I'm not sure yet. And by the way, Chris had just asked me about, um, thought I was going to do a live demo on uh, loonies. Um, I forgot all about it. So what I did do was uh, I was able to share yesterday's video on loonies. So that's what I did. So once a week or so, I will just share one of the videos that we've already done on there and then maybe down the road or something it may be something different but for right now I'll just share videos okay so there's our orange what shall I do next okay I'm not a red person I really don't care for red a whole lot but I do love pinks uh, magentas and hot pinks and things like that so maybe I will find my magenta watercolors right here and put magenta right in here in the center. I love the combination of orange and, and pink, hot pink. I'm not being uh, really careful here. I'm allowing it to slop around. Um, that's okay. okay. Let's see how that looks. Some in there. I feel like it makes kind of a pretty color. So. Since I'm doing this on a canvas that was already painted, as I create this piece, you're going to see pieces of the background peeking through that just that just adds another layer of another of dimension to it and gives it more depth so I have no problem with that whatsoever and I'm not going to attempt to go back and cover that up just gonna let it happen and here I use I used an acrylic ink and the watercolor at the same time um, you can see how it's mixing here I don't, again, I don't have an issue with that. I put so many layers on there. If I don't like a layer, I, you know, at some point it's something else will be on there. 
So why worry with it? Okay. What about, how about down here I do a red violet. Red violet. And just that's laziness there. Okay, let's see. Just let it run. It's creating kind of a lemonade-ish color right there, and that's fine. It's kind of cool. My favorite part of this is the stones. I just I love the way that the colors mix in there, and it just it just makes it look so neat. Just kind of blending my colors in here so I don't have such a sharp definition. And that's just coming right off of there, as you can see. I'm going to let that dry, and what I'll probably do is come back in after this is dry, and I'll use an acrylic um, and go over that just to, just because, just to make it stay down now. Okay. And I won't mess anymore with that because if I keep messing with it, then it's going to get all screwed up. So I'm going to put this somewhere to dry. Okay. I have been playing a little bit with um, more cutout canvases. Here's the bottom of one. This is a 8x8. And this will be the top. So again, I use that same color scheme that I just did on that larger one. Not sure I'm going to stay with that, but we'll see. So I've got the bottom here. I have gone over this with a little bit of ink, so it's not just watercolors anymore. However, I would like that to be a little more vivid, so I'm going to... I'm going to get my primary elements and do some work on that. I'm going to grab that that orange peel. You can tell that I have my I have my favorite colors. I really do. And if it involves shiny, then all the better. And it almost always does when, when it's when it's me that's doing it. Let's see, I would like, I haven't found, with, with color art, I have not found a turquoise that I really love. I just haven't found it yet. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cobalt turquoise, my golden cobalt turquoise, and I'm gonna put some of that on my palette here and I'm going to mix a little bit of the golden, or the golden, the color art primary element in with that, just to give it some shimmer. So let's see which one. There's one that I do like, it's called uh, Meridian, I think, if I can find it. Uh, I can't, so we're just gonna go with this one. Autumn Skies is really pretty too, so I'm going to put some of that in there. Just use whatever's laying around. Got a little water on my brush. You can see that that's. Well, maybe you can't, hopefully, you can see. 
a little bit of sheen in there to it. Really, probably a lot more than I'm what I'm going to need, but I don't care. I do love about that is that it gets, sinks into the cracks and crevices of the crackle paste there. It's a little heavier than what I want, so I'm going to dab off. This top part and the sides is not going to be seen, but um, I'll finish everything off anyway. You never know what exactly won't be seen and what won't. Do I like that? Eh, I don't know. Maybe not. I really love the turquoise of the liquid watercolors. I really do. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to grab my turquoise. Liquid watercolors. And I'm going to put that over. I just, I love the vibrancy of this. It's such a difference. I love that. It's just so intense and beautiful. Rather than spraying, I can also just wet my brush. But most of the time I just spray. It's just easier. And I like the way that it mixes all the colors together. Oops. Okay. Alrighty. There's that. And let's see, right in here. Hmm. Kind of light in here and here. There's a kind of a purplish in there. So maybe I'll get my violet. This is a this is the blue violet which let's see two, two, oh. okay here's violet. If I can get it as intense as I want it on here then I won't have as much to put on top when I come back and I add acrylics on top of it. Got a little spot right there. And actually, I really like the way that that takes that and it just makes it this kind of a maroonish color there, but it's I really like it. into the blue and create yet another color. I just love that. Color excites me. It's really funny because on a personal level I don't I don't really dress that colorfully. I don't wear off the wall outfits. Of course nowadays all I wear are t-shirts and sweats. But the color comes out, the color that's inside me comes out in my pieces, in my artwork. Okay, so let's look at that together right quick. That's going to be pretty. Let that dry, and as I add to it, it'll get more intense. You know, I've still got this turquoise over here that I added into that. Do I take a chance? I'm going to add a little bit, I'm going to squirt a little bit of water in that that I'd already mixed up with the uh, color art. 
with the primary elements. And I'm going to try a little bit of it here with the, with the purples, not into my yellow, because I really don't want a green in there. I, I may have, you know, I may regret this decision, but oh, maybe not. Makes a kind of nice edge on it. That's too much for me. It kind of is. I just dab it off a little bit in there. Bring it around here, and I'm going to use a little more right in here. Give some definition to these um, little balls here. I'll let that be a little green there. What the heck? I always change my mind about things when I'm when I'm in the process of working it. I'll have a little bit of that back here. Maybe. Not much. Put a little bit off the side there. Okay. That's looking kind of cool. Let's see what that looks like over here. This can be fine. Okay. Set that, set that aside and let it dry. And here is a larger one. This is a 10 by 10. And I'm using those darker colors on this, so I still have some of that um, turquoise left over here. So I'm going to use that just around the openings maybe a little bit. In places where I didn't get it really good with the original coat. I really enjoy doing that sometimes, just throwing stuff on here and see how I can make it work. It's, it's a challenge to me. I did a series last year and it was just texture and texture and color. It had no, no flowers, no, no silk or fabric or nothing on there. It was just just flower, just texture and color. And what I did was I pulled a, my different size of canvases and I got all my liquid watercolors out and I put them on the table and I closed my eyes and I just grabbed two colors, any two colors, and for that canvas and I had to use those colors on that canvas and I had to make them work even if they're they were just really ugly together I had to find a way to make them work and that was just that was just a, ta a challenge for me uh, just because and it was really great I mean they they really turned out nicely so that was kind of fun I may end up doing that again okay I've used up pretty much all that turquoise over there so now this is a little darker in here I used what did I use a royal, oh, it was a, I used what the, a black orchid, orchid was what I used on here. And that turned out to be less of the pink and more of a, uh, of a dark uh, cherry color. And it was actually a little bit darker than what I liked. So I went back with um, passion, I think, passion flower or something on that and went over it. So... Now, my question is, what am I going to use around the edges on this? And before I, I do that, let me show you what I've got for the other parts of it. This is what's going to be the very back layer. This is window screen. And 
I will show you. Uh, Maria calls it, uh, what does she call it? Corn? Making corn stalks? Something like that. Anyway, the way I do it is I take my canvas and then I take these clippy things and I clip it onto the canvas. I shouldn't have chose a wet one there. Um, clip it onto the canvas. There we go. And when that is secured on my canvas, I take my light molding paste, and actually be this way, and I went all over the bottom with the light molding paste, and it pushed, pushed through and made this pattern. Uh, it's, it's not as messy. I've, I use, I've used that technique with um, many different nets from a let's see here, netting like this, and I have also used the netting that you get on your food stuff. And I have done the same technique, pushed it through like that. Um, it works either way, her way, my way. Try your own way. Uh, it's just a matter of finding out which way works for you. Anyway, this is going to be the very bottom layer. And then this is my next layer. And then this will be on top. Obviously, I have to tie these layers together because right now they're pretty far apart as far as what they look like. So that's my challenge here is to get to where they all match. Now, to bring a little bit of the bottom into this one, I think what I'm going to have to do is get some more of that flame orange and maybe try a little bit right here at the edges of this purple. And that should pick up enough of the yellow and orange to tie this in hopefully to what I've done in the back love the way that's happening here sometimes there are um, just pieces of it that you really like um, Sandra uh, Duran Wilson Favorite good tip, take pictures. If you, if you like a background, take a picture of it because you can use that later on to create more things with when you're doing collages or transfers or whatever you're gonna do. Take a picture of it and that's, uh, I wish I had done that many times before, but now I have started to do it more and more. And it may be that there's just like one little piece of it that you really like. But you could enlarge it. And I can already tell you I'm going to be pulling some of this off. I like the subtlety of the colors more than just in your face sometimes. And so that's definitely got some subtleness going on here as it interacts with the colors, the watercolors that are already there. It's making all these new colors and it just gives your eye something to look at. I mean, you've already got um, so many textures in there, but now you've added the color on top of it, which makes it even more cool. Okay, that's all I'm going to do today. I'm going to let this rest and give my mind a chance to think about what I've done and how I'm going to create some more. So we do have another video scheduled here on Juju's at 2 o'clock tomorrow. So we will continue with this, um, all that I've started today, and just keep going. Okay, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.